Hi, I'm from DizzyJam.com and we're on Upstart TV. Dizzy Jam is an online company that sells printed t-shirts and merchandise to bands around the world. Upstart TV visited Dizzy Jam founder Neil Cocker at his workshop in Cardiff. I wanted to be an astronaut and I think that was kind of uh, forced on me a little bit. I was named after Neil Armstrong, so uh, I had my dad was a crazy space nut. People like Richard Branson are obviously always inspiring just because they kind of did things their way uh, and that's kind of in inspiring and he kind of um, set a trend for this whole kind of generation of new entrepreneurs who, were, who weren't willing to go with the status quo uh, and that's kind, of, that's kind of cool, he still does things a little bit differently even though he is kind of part of the establishment now. I think a lot of it is about you can't always do it on your own uh, and you need to find other people who are willing to come along for the ride with you. Um, but the difficult thing is finding those people. You're not going to do it on your own, but actually you kind of need to need to start making, to blaze a trail that people can follow you and to find the right people to, to join with you on that journey. I think getting Dizzy Jam this far is, has been a momentous achievement. We set up a, a small business in basically the worst economic climate in living memory and we're profitable uh, and we sell products all over the world you know we everywhere from sort of San Francisco to Beijing so that in itself is is fantastic and, and also uh, running TEDx Cardiff has been a, an incredible thing we're really really uh, Claire and I who I run that with really really proud of it and it's you know the feedback we get is phenomenal I don't know whether we'll have, you know, Dizzy Jam will still be here or whether we'll have sold it on for a vast profit or something, but, but I'd like to be running a really, really innovative, interesting business. Um, hopefully it'll still be Dizzy Jam, uh, but I'll be running it from somewhere else in the world. So um, I kind of want to get to a point where I'm pretty much location independent. I want to be able to run my business from Beijing or San Francisco. It's growth, really. Uh, like a lot of web startups, they rely on scale. Um, Old-fashioned or traditional business models relied on having a few, a small number of clients who bought in a large amount of revenue per client. Businesses like ours actually flip that on its head. We need a large amount of clients, all of whom uh, bring in a relatively small amount of revenue. So if you look at Facebook, some reports say that they're worth about $2 per user, which actually, if you think about a, a manufacturing business, 50 years ago just couldn't have survived on that kind of um, revenue uh, model. You know, these the, the manufacturing businesses around this workshop here, um, they'll all have a handful of clients, all of whom will be worth several thousand pounds each. We flip that completely on its head. So we, currently we have a couple of thousand bands use us, but to be turning over millions a year, we need to have like tens of thousands of bands. And so why we're currently looking for investment is to help us grow to market to the to the sort of millions of bands out there around the world. On a personal level it's Twitter just in terms of communication I mean I've met so many and had conversations with people I've never would normally have been able to, to reach. Um, on a business level for Dizzy Jam it's probably Google Apps uh, which just allows you to run a business uh, whether it's the whole site, um, a uh, all your email. You know, we've got 20 different email addresses. Uh, we've got Google Docs, and, and David and I can basically run our business remotely uh, from anywhere we are. Uh, whether we're in the same room or not, we've always got access to exactly the same data. Uh, it's all cloud-based services, and it's it's fantastic for us. You think this is going to be hard, and you think it's probably going to be the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life you have no idea quite how hard and tiring and stressful and emotionally draining it's going to be. But if you get it right, it's the most incredible thing you'll ever do.